Let us pray. Almighty God, maker of all things, you command and things happen. We come to you this morning. We pray for our government who have been doing their best to keep our country safe. We also remember the government and the people's finances due to the job losses. We pray for miracles at this time. We also pray for people who have been struggling that you will provide with manna from heaven. We pray for people who are struggling with mental illnesses, Lord, that your hand will be upon them. We pray that your Holy Spirit will minister to each and every one of us and we will see many miracles and testimonies in the days to come. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, we pray over help in this time that you'll be with people as they undergo operations, Lord Father God, and those with illnesses, Lord Father God, like cancer, that you'll just be with them, help them, guide them, and let them know that you're near them. And Lord Father God, we enter a time where there's loads of loss, loss around us. And Lord Father God, we do pray over families that are left, family and friends, and just help them to know that you're with them, and you'll be with them, and that you're, you're their strength. And Mother Father God, we pray over people who are lonely at this time. May they see you in all the situations, Lord Father God. And know they're never alone when they have you. Just send your Holy Spirit upon them. And we pray for all those who are about to return to the workplaces, Lord Father God. That you will just keep protection over them, Lord Father God. And you'll help them and you'll guide them and you'll be with them. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you, Ravi and Satya. It's good to uh, have you lead us in prayer this morning. Uh, we've got some information for you. Uh, the first thing is we're, we're working really hard at trying to produce this service by live streaming. Our worship team, along with Mark, uh, ha handling some technical issues, uh, are trying to get it so that we can broadcast live from the church on Sunday morning. So bear with us uh, as we work uh, along that schedule uh, until the time that we can truly mm -hmm. gather together again. Uh, all in our building and we've got one or two other uh, ideas about how we can uh, meet together during lockdown haven't we Margaret? Yes we're uh, first of all let me say thank you to everybody who's supporting in the cool of the day and I hope you're enjoying those and uh, they're a real privilege and a pleasure to make but we are moving towards um, having a live in the cool of the day at church uh, round about October of course it all depends on government guidelines but it really is an exciting prospect of being at least able to meet together we can social distance well within the cool of the day we're looking towards doing live music and some prepared music and uh, it will just be so good to soak in God's presence uh, again together so listen out for more information about that, but I can't emphasize enough, it is all dependent on government guidelines at the time, uh, but we are making some, some preparations for that to take place. So watch out for those in the future. Good news, eh? That's fantastic mm. news. And uh, we've got some other news to share with you. Uh, where Margaret and I are going to hold a prayer meeting on Zoom on August the 18th at 7.30 and uh, it'll be the same zoom link that we use for uh what is it coffee coffee, coffee, coffee. after the church service in fact the zoom link will go across now and it'll also come across uh, when we advertise the zoom coffee the idea is that we would love you to join margaret and i as we pray for those in yeah. the church who are, are desperate for prayer and as we also pray for the nation mm. but we do have some good news about the prayers that we've been uh, praying recently Brian had his operation. It was very, very successful. He's out of intensive care by now. And wow. just on general ward, he's eating, he's walking, so he's, 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 he's having yeah. a shower. Uh, Mandy, we still pray for Mandy. She's awaiting the results of her tests. And when mm. she gets the results of, of those tests uh, from the scan, uh, the surgeons will know exactly how she can be treated. Uh, but we continue to pray for Mandy yeah. in, until... until uh, the Lord has fully healed her as we're praying for Brian and so we invite you to join us in that zoom prayer uh, when we will pray for everybody G got to pray for Yakabu as well haven't we let's oh, yeah. remember Yakabu. Yeah. did you tell him the time I said 7 30 did, did you not listen no you'll get it on our website 
Uh, why don't we pray for Brian and for Yakabu and for Mandy right now? Let's just pray. Lord, we thank you for the success of the operation for Brian. Thank mm -hmm. you for his recovery, that mm -hmm. his body's thank you, God. Uh, holding up really, really thank well. You, Lord. Uh, that he's chatting, he's talking, he's moving around. And we pray for continued healing. We pray that every piece of cancer will have been taken from his body. Yes. And we pray that you protect him ag against any yes. uh, infection as he continues to recover and build up his strength, Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. And Father, we pray for Mandy. Yeah. And uh, we thank you for her. We thank you for the, what she means to us, uh, for her love, for her friendship. And uh, we just pray that you would heal her too, Lord God. We pray for that miracle. We pray for that miracle yes. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And thank you for Yakabu's progress. Mm. And we pray for continued progress, continued healing, and for full and total restoration. Lord, we pray for all those in our church who are sick. And we just pray for the deliverance that comes to them because of all that Jesus has done. Yes. We pray that healing belongs to you because of what Jesus has done for you right now in his precious name. Amen. 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 Now we're in the middle of August and uh, we would normally be preparing for the one event. Boop, boop. We're getting all our caravans and uh, our tents prepared, uh, but sadly we're not able to meet at one event this year. Or are we? Ah, well. What do you think about that? I think it's a great idea. I think we are able to meet at one event. So Let's just watch this little video and it will show you how we can celebrate and gather at the one event this year. That does look interesting, doesn't it? One event online, no camping required for those of us who are allergic to camping and for the ones of us who love it, we get to camp in our own back gardens and we don't have to share toilet facilities. That's excellent, isn't it? We're gonna continue with our worship now and as we do so, we're gonna take up our tithes and our offerings. This is virtual, of course, and if you need to know how to give, full details are on our website, so you can find out there the details. Let's pray together. Father God, we want to thank you for your blessings on us. And we pray that you would take our tithes and our offerings and you would use them to build your kingdom. Thank you, Father God. Amen. Let's continue in worship. 